Jam Eppers. Took the old flare rig, just me, not flare. And uh, yeah, got my boat. We went up north. We went, we drove about three hours this morning to this beautiful. It's I mean, it's a lot like Malax actually. It's a it's like a miniature version of Malax. It's got large mouth, small mouth, uh, and, and it's actually a really cool fishery because it's five different lakes that are all hooked onto each other and they all present different ways to fish. This one here, crystal clear. This is, uh, this is called West Lake um, of the Oak Boji. Oak Boji is where we are at in Northern Iowa, about three hours from home, like I said, but we're gonna get out, uh, start sticking some. Hopefully I'm pretty stoked about this. Uh, haven't caught, haven't been on a really good smallmouth bite, you know, since it didn't happen at Mille Lacs, So we're hoping today is gonna be that day. And then of course we're gonna catch some largemouth too. It's gonna be some some different type of stuff, some offshore fishing, uh, and then some actually some really shallow fishing if we can get these smallmouth to cooperate up on the points. I'm super stoked though. Ready to stick some slaunches. Let's go. Got the shiners, flicker shads. Got it. Beauty. All right, folks, here we are, spot number one, starting up shallow, see if we can get a little topwater small job bite going. We're on a main lake point, it's got a little bit of grass, a lot of rock, lots of natural rock in this lake. Different than anything we got around home. That's why we decided to drive three hours, three and a half hours this morning. Now we're ready to stick some. Not the best topwater conditions, that's why we're over here in the wind, hoping we can fool some. That's not. Created one with a black Cinco. Uh, yeah, I guess the bottom. Right the oh, there we go. Oh, we got hooked up on the wing ding. Oh, the wing ding. It's a ding. giant. The wing ding. Dude, net, net. I can't tell. Large. Large mouth. All right, not really a large mouth spot, but I'll take it. First, first fish in the large mouth. There's fish in here, on the wing ding. That's why we came up here, traveled three and a half hours, folks, to catch the biggins. Oh, that's a fish. Yeah, a small jaw, a decent one. Keeper. I was like really moving it. Oh, there's another one. Over. Just kidding, it's a large one. Throw it out there, Flair. On, I thought that was a smallmouth. Hey, spot's getting better. Improvement in size on the wing ding, all right. Hot spot number two, point number two. Slaunch sticking time. Done with the warm up point, Flair. We were on them there, but we're really going to catch them here. There we go. Really? This got to be a small the way he's fighting. Yeah, small enough. No! It is a large mouth. What the heck? Hey, I'll take it. I don't discriminate. They've all gotten bigger too as we've gotten. I saw two pounder. That guy was on the old tube. You guys probably can't hear anything I'm saying. Hi, buddy. All right, sick. First cast in the new spot on the tube. Let's go. Oh, good but are your dream shots like this flair oh uh, damn juiced oh, up dream damn. shots yep just the tip just put your other plastics in with the gulps too make them smell like garbage and this has been just the tip was that a just the tip i couldn't hear anything i think he was talking rewind it That's got to be a bronze one. Wow. Is it really? I, so. I couldn't tell. Brown, it's a brown one. Oh, he's got a friend. Right there. Right there. Let him fight. Come here. No, no. What the? Are you kidding me? Eat it. He's gonna eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat oh, he's, he's got. Oh. Come on. Eat that it. one's bigger, dude. Dude, I know. Dude, he's just chilling. Come on. He's right there. Come on. Oh my 
God. He must have seen the boat at what that the point. Hell? He's so shallow. <laughs> First brown dude, I know he was right under the surface. Brown one on a tube. <laughs> Nice little small job, my first smallmouth of the day. Out here in the uh, the wind. Yeah, that one actually had one with it and Flair tried to catch him, but he uh, he wasn't having the old drop shot. He's like, just touched it with his mouth. That was nuts, dude. There we go. Yep, tie on a tube, Flair. We got a good one. This one looks like a big one, man. Bigger, anyway. Oh, yeah. Good largemouth, man. Really? God dang, son. Yes, sir. They like the tubes. Nice little three-plus pound largey. It's going back in the lake. There we go. Nice little three-pound largemouth. Again, on the tube, same spot as the smallmouth. I don't know. I'll take it. Pretty dope. Yes. Are you kidding me? What happened? <laughs> Same thing that happened to you. Fish dumped it way out here and gone. Well, yeah, it's 48 feet right here. Just had one thump my tube. Lift it up and he was there, so I set the hook and my line breaks because this lake is loaded with zebra mussels. So that's not good, but here's my rig. Um, actually throwing this, this is a little secret keeper that I made. I have to show you guys that in a future video, but it is uh, freaking money so far. Perfect for a tube because it doesn't slide down when you cast it, which is super, super important. But yeah, let's see if we can not get our line broke this time all right here we go spot number i don't know four 16 and, 16 and a half changed scenery a little bit as you can see we are in prime swim jog as flair would call it territory swim jogging time oh there he is it's a it's a big one. oh we got a hammer handle on our hands that's what we came here for. The Malak special. Talk about catch and cook. Okay, that's enough of that. Oh, that's the best. Smelly, Fire! Smelly hands. I like swim jigs. <laughs> so here you are talking to him. What's that? So here you are talking to him. So, yeah, so me, I'm like, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Get out of there! Get yeah if he can get through the cheese that's cheese panda yeah not a bad one here i wrecked all the habitat in the lake getting him out of there but not big but not bad one all right a frog fish i'll take it popping frog that was sick son you don't work them they work for you all right we have fished probably a handful of spots now it's the middle of the day uh, we obviously just got done fishing this beautiful clean grassy largemouth habitat with one decent sized two and a half pound bass so nothing great so far there's four other lakes here to hit that are like shallow muddier dock flipping lakes so that's going to be a completely different animal we're trying to catch them out here today um, if it doesn't work we're going to head over to those lakes though too so Stay tuned. Hopefully, we get on some slaunches. What do you think, Flair? What do you think about that? Uh, the bite so far. I mean, I've caught way too many fish to count. I mean, as they've seen in your video, I just can't keep them off my line. It's been a, been a pretty good day. Yeah, he uh, he's got sore shoulders. I just I've been a dick and haven't added any of his fish catches to my video. But uh, yeah, we'll go with that story for now. Catch you in the next spot. All right, folks. Change of scenery here. We're at the. Uh, there's a big tournament here last weekend launched out of there so we're gonna fish right here for the smart ones the educated ones edumacated Ooh. Oh, found him oh. come here buddy not a bad one fatty 
Fatty Patty here. On the beaver, flipping the docks. I'll be nice, you can have... Just kidding. Oh, dang, that's yeah, dude, these aren't bad ones at all. All right, there's my beef. Good keepers. Nice one. Totally down with this dude. Look at my hook keeper. Still money. I gotta show you guys this trick. It is friggin' sweet. Why we like fishing and some on. Yeah. Dicking around with it. Mr. Nah, that's small math. Yeah. Had it for 20 minutes. Nice little small jaw on a little offshore point. On the two boy secret magic tube. Ba boom well things uh things have been pretty tough i actually caught some decent fish i can't really complain i caught like probably eight fish or so um best fish so far been like the two and three quarter range a uh, large mouth this like is actually where you go to catch small mouth it's super super clean so we're gonna put on the trailer uh get something to eat maybe get something to drink and head over to another lake that's actually attached to this one but we're gonna trailer over there kind of get a little mental refresh and the lake we're going to is going to be completely different. It's gonna be shallow, dock flipping, and I'm super stoked to get over there because it's got a lot of good fish in it. So uh, we'll catch you over there. to get that on my boat folks all right lake number two come shake and bake all right folks we are back in action lake number two three o'clock in the afternoon four o'clock same thing we're back back to the large head territory yeah so was mine man i retied two things there we go. Yep. All right, dock flap and fish. Cheerleader down here, guys. Good job, Flair. Thanks, man. I really appreciate your. Uh... <laughs> All right, first dock. Had a fish on it or two. I like it. Shake and bake. No, it was. Oh, just started. started. Yep. Balls. Yeah. <laughs> Heads up. About like that. <laughs> nice. That's a good start to the day anyway. Yeah, nothing wrong with that, right? Yeah, that's a good one. You too. All right, we found the uh, fire spot flare. Having fun down there? Yeah, sure. If this ain't some cheese panda city, I don't know what is. Yeah, a little algae. Yeah, probably, yeah. Probably helps me catch that a babe. Fish. That a babe. Doubled. Oh, doubled up. Oh, big ends. Big ends. First one for me. Of course, milk ends is bigger. I've, I've caught flare fish, but I, I gotta catch the flare fish. My you do. Flare. I gotta hit you with my rod too. That's what's key. Giants. Right there, boys. Sayonara. Is that a carp? Oh, that counts. Oh god. Ooh, there's dang, a bunch god of dang. them. There's a bunch of them, dude. Dude, those are huge. I know. Oh my god. Wild. Look at this one. This one is what I'm talking about. Holy ball, that one's 25 pounds. Got a large mouth on too. I know we're not interested in those anymore. Decent little large head. Hi buddy. Screw it, I'm catching one on a swim jig. Just to make you sad. I don't know why it would make you sad, but I'm going to. Dang it. God 
Dang, son. Sorry, I had to. You weren't paying attention. I wanted to hit you in the face with it. I couldn't even make a sandwich. Just got to let her go underneath there. That's where the slaunches live. The dock pandas. The bridge pandas. There you go. Caught it from young men, though. That's how I know. Ooh, that's a better, that's a one. better one. Better one. Get Giant. Get him. Must like to be on these first ones. Yeah, dude. There we go. That's the All right. size we have. That's a little better. Boys. That's a little better. What's wrong with his eye? He got a Google eye? He's got a Google on him. Something. Like the website. He's also been caught 30 times this week. All right, I'll take it. Digested that one. I need like a stinger treble on the back of it. Oh, I got him. I got him. It actually feels decent. What the heck's happening? What do we got here? A small mouth. What? How did they have such a hard time? I don't know. Maybe, I wonder if that's what's down there. All right. Uh, caught a small mouth here on the mud lake. Sun's about to go down. On a, a worm. A, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't have the answers anymore, folks. Well, this is where we're gonna end the day, take the video out for the evening. Pretty tough day on the water, actually, but it's freaking gorgeous. And I think that's kind of what the problem was. Pretty calm today, we had some wind to start the day, but then it slicked off. We haven't seen a cloud uh, the entire day. Caught a bait, caught, caught bait, caught fish on a ton of different baits. Um, caught them on a tube, caught them on a worm, caught them on a flipping bait, a beaver, D-bomb. Of course, everything I used in the video will be linked down below. If you want to go check any of that stuff out, just click the link, check it out. But yeah, Mr. Flair and myself will be up here again tomorrow morning. I don't know when you're going to see that video. It might be a couple days after this or tomorrow, but it might be in the future a little bit. Not really sure, but we're going to go fish some, some smallmouth stuff. We've got better conditions for it tomorrow. We're going to get up bright and early, see if we can get on that top water bite, which would be absolutely sick. They crush a whopper plopper here first thing in the morning. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. I truly do appreciate that, and I will catch you in a couple of days. I am out of here.